Texas Chainsaw Massacre Remake versus Original. Which one's better? Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are looking at the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974 and we're putting it up against its remake from 2003. We're going to look at a lot of different options from kills to characters and just a tone and feel of both movies and see which one comes out on top. Kicking things off we're going to look at Leatherface and his cannibalistic family. So in the 1974 original, we of course have Leatherface, we have the cook and the hitchhiker. For me, what I enjoy about their characters is really just how realistic they are. You know, they're not these kind of over the top characters. Although they are insane, they are definitely crazy. They're also characters you can come face to face with in real life. Leatherface in particular, you know, he's not as hulking monster throughout the movie. Instead, he's hidden away for a lot of the film. But when you do come face to face with him in the end of the movie, he is downright terrifying. He does kind of turn into the shrieking motherly character towards the end of the movie but still when he gets his chainsaw he means business. For me one of my favourite characters is actually the hitchhiker. Again he's a character you could come face to face with but he's also a very unnerving and unsettled character. As for the cook he keeps everyone together, he keeps the family going, particularly the family business. Now if we look at the remake, the letter face in that is much different. He's a bigger, stronger and more brutal character for sure. And that goes for the rest of his family. Even Sheriff Hoyt, who is kind of the cook version in this one, he kind of keeps the family together. He also has a lot more personality. We spend a lot more time with his character. Honestly, he is one of my favorite characters in the entire series. Anytime Sheriff Hoyt's on screen, I wanted to see more of him and just what his character was all about. Just like the hitchhiker in the original, at times he's more terrifying than Leatherface. He is a very dangerous character. He's very calculated and you constantly want to see what he's going to do next. As for the rest of the family, they are all still very interesting characters. It does get a bit confusing when you don't know are they just townspeople or the family, but they're still all really bizarre, strange characters. So with that one guys, I'm going to give the first point to Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003. Next up, we're going to look at the tone and feel of both movies. Going back to the original, for me, nothing can beat this one. It is a very raw, visceral movie, and it's shot to almost look like a documentary. Because of that raw feeling in the movie, it actually drags you in immediately. It does give you an unnerving feeling that it is actually true life events. Of course, the movie opens with that scroll explaining that it is real life events. So that, and just how it's shot in particular, makes it feel a lot more realistic than the real remake. The original was also shot on a very low budget. It is very bizarre when you watch it for the first time. Again, there's just something very realistic about it. They even use real carcasses at some point in the movie. At the same time, if we look at the remake, although I do love how that's directed, it has definitely its own unique feel. Kind of has this brown filter on screen. Just doesn't draw you in as much as the original. And that's because, again, the original feels like real life events. It almost feels at times like a documentary. So with that one, Guys, I'm going to give a second point to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. After that, we're going to look at the characters or the victims. With the original movie, I will say I wasn't a huge fan of the characters. They are very by the number slasher characters. They're kind of just there to get killed off. And even in the movie, one by one, they just go to the Sawyer house and are picked off. Sally is probably the most interesting character in the movie, and it's just because she is the final girl. Saying that though, you know, she does have a great chase sequence. She does really fight back throughout the entire movie, but again, we don't learn too much about her character. Whereas if we look at the remake, Erin to me is a much more fleshed out, as well as all the other characters. We spend a lot more time with them. We develop really a plot point around their characters and we know what they're about. As well as that, even though each character does go to the Hewitt house, we do actually see them again. Not a lot of them are killed off right away. So there is a lot more character development when we look at that and there's also a bigger cast. I will say guys, out of both movies, I definitely prefer the characters in the remake. Another point to look at is the ending of both movies. Now for me, I really enjoy the remake's ending. I think it definitely goes on maybe a bit too long, but I absolutely love the battle between Leatherface and Erin. It goes on for quite some time, but it's all out carnage and it's all out mayhem. At the same time, the original version's ending is absolutely downright insane. And it is one that you will not forget. Sally is kidnapped. You know, she has this huge horrific ordeal 
in the Sawyer family house that they didn't really recreate for the remake but because it is so legendary it is such a classic ending they had to bring it back for that prequel. Out of both endings I do think the ending in the original one is slightly better just because it is so much more visceral it is raw and it is downright bizarre. I haven't seen an ending of a movie like that in quite some time and I don't think we ever really will. So with that one guys I'm going to give the next point to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Next one we're going to look at are the kills of both movies. Now with the 1974 original, although I love the kills in that one, they are definitely bloody in a way. We don't see a lot of kills in particular. My favourite kill is a sledgehammer to the head in the movie which shows you that there's not a lot of range with characters in the movie. Whereas if we look at the remake, there's a lot more bizarre deaths in that one, but they also go on for quite some time. Now what I mean about that is there's a lot more, again, character development. The characters are going through this insane ordeal. We experience really the pain and horrible torture that they're going through. For me, the kills in the remake are a lot more interesting. They're tough to watch at times, but it is a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. I do think with both movies, the kills are great. We just don't get a lot of them in that first original film. So with that one guys, I'm going to give the kills to the remake. And finally, the last one we're going to look at is the story of both movies. Now, of course, this is a remix, so the story is very familiar. It's a very similar story for sure. But when you look at the original movie, as I said, there's not a lot of character development at all. Most of the characters get picked off right away within the first maybe 40, 50 minutes of the movie. Whereas with the remake, we spend a lot more time with every single character, whether they be a villain or someone trying to survive. With the 1974 version, I actually think there's more character development development with the main set of villains than there is with Sally and her group of friends. But as for story development, there's no real story there. It's a bunch of kids going to this strange house and getting picked off one by one as the movie goes on. Whereas with the remake, you go back and forth between the house. You also spend a lot of time with these characters. So the movie itself kind of starts with a victim of the Hewitt family surviving and getting picked up by the main cast. So they're trying to kind of figure out what the hell is going on and really seeing what's happening in this town. Out of both movies, I think the remake definitely slowly develops and reveals its plot as it goes along. Even though it's a remake of the original, you are still kind of invested to see, you know, is there a twist or is there something else happening? Whereas the original, as I said, is a very by the number story. It's definitely bizarre, it's definitely a crazy movie, but as for story development, there's not too much there. So with that one guys, the final point I'm going to give to Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003. But guys, that's just my thoughts on both movies. Now with the original 1974 version, I'm a huge fan of that movie. I think it's very raw, it's very visceral, and there's nothing else like it. Whereas for the remake, I just think it does what every good remake should do. It takes a really good established story and it just fleshes it out. But guys, if your opinion is different, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Why do you think one is better than the other? Next week, we're going to be looking at Alien vs Predator. So if you haven't already, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Pop on that notification bell. Now, if you do want to see more videos like this one, click the link down below and I will see you in the next one.